What is up guys? Today we're gonna to talk about the Horizon fix for the DJI RS2. This also might work for the original DJI Ronin S, uh, but there might be some different spots in the app that you have to go to, uh, and there's no screen on the RS1. So let's just get into the video. What is up everyone? My name is James and this is The Engineering Filmmaker where we talk about photo, video, travel, and tech. If these are topics you're interested in, hit that subscribe button down below. So have you ever been shooting with the RS2 or even the Ronin S original? And it does this, not really that intense. It's more or less like a one degree difference that you probably wouldn't even notice it's doing until you get into post. There's a few issues that could be happening here. This could be an ongoing issue where it happens no matter what, or this could be an issue where it only happens sometimes. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do, turn on your gimbal. Uh, you're gonna wanna put your camera on it, balance it, make sure it's all pretty, nice looking setup. Uh, that is going to be a key thing because we're not only going to do some calibrations, we're going to make sure everything is set to go. Uh, and that's going to be the first step before you start messing with any settings. Now you can do this in the gimbal itself in the screen, or you can do it with your phone. I personally like to do it with my phone because it's a lot easier. So you're going to go into your phone. We're gonna do an auto tune first because that's going to make the motor strengths and all of the parameters of the motors fit the setup you have for the weight, the balance, etc. First, you're going to unlock all of your motor axis, axes, axes, I think it's axes, judge me. Uh, you're going to unlock them all and then you're going to activate the motors. Make sure your gimbal is set to go. As you can see, my motor parameters were not great. Uh, I actually was using this before with my big chunker lens. It's a 20 to 70, it's three and a half pounds. This is like a half a pound. Um, so it's not happy about that. Balance is obviously good. You can see the way it is. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do in auto tune first. So activate the motors and then do an auto tune. To do that, you're gonna go in the app, go to motor parameters. And at the bottom here, there's a button that says auto tune. It's gonna do its little dancey dance, and it's also gonna make some weird, funny noises. I'm sure you're familiar with this. Next thing we're gonna do is a balance test. Same thing in the app, you're gonna to go to the main menu. It just says balance test, pretty straightforward. And then on the screen, you can see the gimbal has to have an incline of at least 15 degrees uh, to do the balance test. So leaving it like this is not going to be ideal. You wanna take the gimbal and put it at an angle and then begin the test. The reason you're gonna to wanna to put it at an angle, I believe is mainly for the pan axis. Uh, but as you can see on the app here, it says excellent on all three axes or axes. Uh, so that is a good sign. So if you didn't get an all excellent on all three of these categories, this could be one of the main reasons why the horizon balance is off. Uh, so if you do not get excellent, make sure you rebalance your gimbal to make sure you get this setup. And if you're still getting the horizon tilt after you have excellent balanced test results, then we'll go to the next step. The next step is simply a horizon calibration. Now I did this the first time I had the horizon issue and it didn't actually fix my issue, but I did a few other things that did. So stay with me and we'll see if these other things that I did will also help you. So next we're gonna go under status on the main menu and we're going to go to the very bottom and you'll see three different options. You'll see system calibration, horizon calibration, and restore gimbal parameters. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is the horizon calibration because that is what's wrong with our gimbal. So horizon calibration, and it says horizon calibration preparing to start, check and make sure the gimbal axes are unlocked and balanced. And that's why we did the balance test is to make sure it's balanced before we do this test. And then we're gonna hit calibrate, okay, and it's going to do its thing. All right, so now that our horizon calibration is done, then we can check in our camera to see if it worked. Depending on what camera you have, you may or may not have this feature, but in most or all Canon cameras, if you keep hitting the info button on the back of the screen, eventually a level will pop up. This does not pop up if you're connected to an external monitor. In my case, after I did the horizon calibration, it was still messed up, so I had to try some other things. Now, what I found to work for me, uh, I did a system calibration. In the app, it says this is used if the gimbal is experiencing drifting. That usually means if randomly the gimbal starts turning on its own. Uh, and that's not really related to the horizon issue, but 
Uh, I'm not really sure what the system calibration will do internally if it messes with the IMU or other sensors that may sense level. Uh, so I gave it a shot anyway. We did a system calibration uh, just to make sure. And I actually didn't check to see if it was fixed after that. Uh, so the step I took after the system calibration, which doesn't take very long at all, is I restored all my gimbal parameters. Now I did this because maybe there's a parameter in your settings that you messed with on accident or messed with in general that actually tilted your roll axis and you just didn't know it. I'm not gonna do it on my app because I like the way I have my parameters set, but you can restore all gimbal parameters which will change your joystick, your modes, and everything back to default. I did both the system calibration and restore my parameters, and it was back to horizon level, which was really awesome. If this didn't work for you and you are having a consistent tilting issue, this next step will work for you. Uh, so the next step, I haven't found a way to do it in the app, uh, but you can do it on the gimbal itself. And this is going to be a permanent horizon calibration fix. So what you're going to do is scroll from right to left, right side of the screen to the left side of the screen, and you're going to scroll all the way down to more, and then you're gonna see a horizon calibration at the very top. You're going to click that, and you're going to see horizon calibration and tune manually. You're gonna to wanna to hit tune manually, and you can adjust this plus or minus five degrees. So you're going to take it and adjust it 0.1 degrees at a time until your gimbal is fully balanced. And like I said, I would highly recommend using the level inside your camera to see if it's level. Once you have your gimbal at a level state, you can just hit the back button many times until you're back to the main screen. And now your gimbal is at a completely balanced horizon. Hopefully this was a short video for you guys. Very easy, quick steps to try to fix this issue. Just remember, if your issue is happening consistently every time you use your gimbal, go straight to the manual adjustment. If it's happening only sometimes, try to do what I did at the beginning and reset literally everything you can find in the app. Hopefully this helped you guys. Let me know if you're still having issues in the comment section down below. I've seen this issue quite a bit, so I'm not sure if maybe there's just an error in the software or some physical hardware errors that DJI just hasn't fixed from the RS1 because I also had the same issue on my RS1. So hopefully this helped you guys. If it did, give it a thumbs up. If it didn't, please give it a thumbs up because I'm trying and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.